to a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Christmassy gonk set using some Kirsty Meek and gel polishes and some bits and pieces I got from Nail Sugar. So the colours I'm using are Beige Dave and um, Eden. I actually really like Beige Dave. Eden is a gorgeous green and then I've got Jaden, which is a like a, a pinky red but it's got like a glittery shimmer in it it's really really nice uh so I'm, i warn you now i need to put my teeth in i i can't my head's thinking it but my mouth doesn't want to say it i'm getting a bit tongue-tied today it's actually friday it's friday next week no it's friday last week see look it, i just make no sense um i'm voice i'm voice noting i'm not i'm i'm voicing over early <laughs> i'm being super organized so right let me tell you about the nails. I have done one nail of Beige Dave. We're gonna do, we're gonna have two nails of Eden, which is the green, and we're gonna have two nails of Jaden. These are all from Kirsty Meekin's Autumn collection. I had, a, I had a little stray bristle there. This one covers really nicely. Look at the coverage on this one. Isn't that just like what? And you can see the, I'll, I'll show you a bit closer so you can see the shimmer, the glittery shimmer in it. It's really, really pretty. Look, oh, I love that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Right, they're all going to go in the lamp. Um, Kirsty's gel polishes need a 30 second cure in an LED lamp. I'm going to go over and give them all a second coat apart from one of the green nails, which I've, you can see I've set that aside because we're going to do a marble on that one. So we've yeah, I done I done the second coat off off screen for the rest of them. So for the marble nail, I'm got my palette. I'm putting one little line of Jaden, one line of Beige Dave, and then I'll put one line of Eden, and then I'm going to put another line of Jaden because I really like that colour, and I'd like it a little bit more prominent on the green nail. And then if you don't have a blooming gel or something like that, just apply a thin coat of base coat. You don't even have to put, you don't even have to put a color, a base color down. You can do your, do your base coat as you normally would. And then you could put your base coat on the top and then you could do your gel pot, like you could do this bit. So did that make sense? So you'd already have a cured layer of base coat and then you could put an uncured layer of base coat to put your marble in. I think that makes sense but it's always nice to have a color underneath because if you if you've got a gap then that color just kind of fills the gap and then when you do this I'm using my ombre brush to pick up the gel polish on the palette but when you put it on the nail you kind of want to you want to float it on more than brush it on because it just yeah there we go and then you can sort of just play around with it until you're you're happy and then what I also like to do is, because when you do this, you can end up with quite a lot of gel polish on the nail. I normally do it with my naked finger, but you shouldn't do that, that's bad practice. Um, never put uncured gel polish on your skin because it can cause allergies. I'm gonna do it with a wipe. So you just gently press up against the side of the gel polish and that will just pull off any sort of like excess gel polish. And it also kind of helps the marble to spread a bit. But if you, do it, if you do it with a gloved finger, that's absolutely fine. And then I've popped it in the lamp for 30 seconds and you can see I've got no like wrinkling or anything. So that is all good, all good news. Right, you can't see what I've got here. I'll show you the decals in a minute and I'll do show you the glitter a bit better at, like later on in the video. Uh, I don't think I realized I was quite out of shot. So I've put a little bit of base coat on my palette, if you can see there. I'm gonna take a little bit of this bedazzled glitter. The glitter and the decals are from Nail Sugar and you can get 10% off those using my code NATMOG10. The link to Nail Sugar and the dis... No. The link to Nail Sugar, I was going to say, and the description box. The link to Nail Sugar and the discount code will be in the description box. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> and then this, I was out of shot here, so I do, I do cut forward a lot. Um, but I'm just putting some of that base coat with that glitter in. I'm just running it through the marble of the nail. There we go, that's what I've done. And then I'll give that a 30 second cure. And then that will be that nail done other than the top coat. These are, look how cute these are. There will also be on sale by now, I should imagine, some pastely gonks wearing knitted jumpers. They're amazing. 
I'm going to use those for day eight of the 12 days of Christmas um, because day eight is gonk nails. <clears throat> so I'll be doing two, two lots of gonk nails this year. But I just love these and I felt like I couldn't not do, I just love them. Right, so I'm, I, do, I do this whole stamper method now, the stamper technique with decals. I think it's brilliant and I'm gutted I didn't know about it sooner. So I've just cleaned my stamper off with some sellotape. And then I put the decal on the nail upside down. I've got a tickly throat. I'm going to cough. <coughs> and then I, I just wet it with a brush and some water. And I'll leave it for the same amount of time as what I would as if I had dipped the decal into a little glass of water. And then that backing will just slide off. And you're left with your gonk on your stamper ready to stamp onto your nail wherever you want it. The annoying thing about this stamper is as lovely as the glitter is in the stamper it makes it a little bit more awkward to find where i'm actually pressing the decal onto the nail because he's a little bit wonky and ideally i would have liked him just a smidgen more downwards but it didn't work out that way but never mind look i cut my finger i cut my finger my other half bought me some flowers he bought me some roses and i thought he was taking the, the mick because <laughs> he'd forgotten them he'd put the, he'd, they'd been in the van right only for like an afternoon uh anyway he brought them up and they were practically dead and i was like i hope you got them no i no what did i say i said to him are you i said you didn't pick them up from the side of the road did you and he was like no and i said did you get them cheap because they're trying to sell them off because they're dying <laughs> and i sounded i thought oh my god you sound so ungrateful but i was appreciative but literally they they had to go straight in the bin <laughs> bless his heart uh, right, top gloss. This is this is um, top gloss. Yes, it is. I've lost my thread now. I lost my chain thought. Train and not chain. Uh, right, so on this finished nail, one of the red ones, I'm putting some of the top gloss down the middle of the nail vertically. And I'm going to sugar this with some glitter. So I'm. that's the... No, it's not. I'm going to use the bedazzled glitter. There we go. See, it's just like a really gorgeous champagne metallic gold. It's just lovely. I love it. That's going to get sprinkled into that uncured top coat. And then I tap off the excess and I'll give that a double cure. And then when it comes out, because it's cured into the top coat, you can use it like a hard brush to get rid of the excess glitter. And we've got like a, it looks just, it just, it's quite Christmassy, I think. Right, the gonk nail and the green nail. We're going to put some crystals on. So the crystals I'm using are, as always, from Crystal Parade. They are Preciosa crystals. These green ones are called Chrysolite. I just felt like they went better with this green than what an emerald green would. Um, I've got Preciosa Starlight Gold, which again, I thought matched the bedazzled glitter quite well. And I've also got, I've got to say this, I'm going to try and say this right. Pad Paradasha. It's like a... Um, a very soft red almost pinky red but it went really nice with Jaden and the gem glue it came out all wrong <laughs> the gem glue I'm using is the crystal totalist gem glue from nail Queen. right for the first nail I'm gonna start with a gonk you could look you could just put like a crystal bauble that would be pretty cool but he needs to be further down the nail i think you couldn't ever i don't know anyway shut up nats right we're doing like a crystal cuff along the top i wasn't going to put any caviar beads on initially i was going to leave out the caviar beads but sometimes not having caviar beads on it bothers me slightly because i'm a bit weird so along the top, I've put the green in the middle, then I've gone for the red, and then I've gone for the gold, and then I've gone for the green, and then I've gone... That's it, yeah. Green, red, gold, back to green. So that's like a cuticle cuff kind of thing. And then I'm almost drawing out like a smile line here with my gem glue. This gem glue, because the, where, right, the, the nail's obviously matte finished, the gem glue has made it shiny now, so I will use that gem glue as my guide as to where I want my crystals so we're almost doing like a little smile line here and I've actually made this symmetrical I don't normally do this sometimes I just throw them on 
but if you see from that big green crystal in the middle whatever i've put one side i've mimicked it the other side with the same color and it was wasn't until i'd done this bottom bit that i've got some gaps down the side and the crystals were going to be too big to fill that so that's when i decided that i actually need these little buttes these are the gold antique gold i always tip too many out these are the antique gold caviar beads again from crystal parade i don't know if i said but you can get five percent off using my code nat5 off any crystals or caviar beads or anything else crystal parade sells on their website they actually have those diamond paintings those you know those 5d or 3d diamond paintings they have those look there we go look i put all the caviar beads on i even put some at the top popped it in the lamp for 60 seconds and that's our finished gonk and then for this green now i decided to keep it pretty simple so i kind of went with the uh what am i trying to say you know the 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 glitter the sugared glitter nail we've we've gone vertically down the nail so i decided that i was going to do the same thing on this nail only instead of the glitter we're using the crystals now all the crystals i'm going to be using on this nail i'm trying to make sure that they're all the same size and if they are different it's only like by a smidge a smidgen different because i want i want them roughly all the same size and I started with the green because I've got more green crystals than any of the other colours. So I don't know, it does, not that it doesn't, it doesn't matter, but I've gone green, red, gold, and then I'm going to go green, red, gold, green, red, gold until I get all the way to the bottom. And then I decided that I was going to put some caviar beads in between each of these crystals. I did need to add some more gem glue, but cutting forward, this is what it looks like. Um, these are the nails finished i really like them if you did as well please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing don't forget you can get five percent off crystal pride using my code nat5 ten percent off at nail sugar using code nat mug 10 and i will leave kirsty meekin's link in the description box below so you can grab yourselves some kirsty meekin gel polish um i think in a nutshell that is it thanks for watching and i will see you beautiful lot in the next one yes i will <laughs> love you all bye